All right, y'all, welcome back to a board guy with a camera exclusive video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to build an insane uh, music light controller uh, that's pretty easy to build. I used my background in car audio and electronics to come up with this idea, and I think it works out really well. And I'm sure you guys will let me know if, if you think it's awesome, and definitely hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we're back. If you guys have been watching the, the past videos, I kept telling you guys I'm working on something, I'm working on something. Well, here we go. Uh, I'm going to show you guys today how to make, let's just say, a badass light controller. Uh, this is going to control any lights that you have. It will not control strip lights or uh, pixels, anything like that. It'll It'll do all your other lights, all your other Christmas lights. It'll do Halloween lights. It'll do whatever kind of lights you guys want. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you guys some of the, some of the materials I got. So here I got some um, power wire. So it's two, two wire power wire, right? Now this right here, and let me explain something to you guys. This is a 99 cents cutting board from the dollar store, right? So the reason why I got the, that, I walked around Lowe's for Probably a half hour looking like man I really need something a uh, piece of plastic or something plexiglass sells for $15 guys you believe that for something this size $15 this is 99 cents I'm gonna cut this up and I'm gonna be good to go I got a cheap radio this is a $16 radio uh, this is dual you guys can use whatever you want uh, I found some real cheap ones on Amazon I didn't want to wait I wanted it right now so I picked this one up at Walmart $16 I'll leave you a link for one uh, on Amazon it's $16 also if you guys like Amazon so right here I got these two solid-state relays now these two were like 10 bucks something like that uh, they came in a pack of two I think they were $10 I'll leave a link for those um, guys you can use any solid-state relay that you want the important thing down here right here is the input so I have three volts up to 32 volts right DC so basically you want it to be a low voltage because we're feeding we're feeding our signal into the solid state relay out of the back of the battery out of the back of the radio all right so our speaker wires are going to go to those relays which in turn I'll show you I got this right here so it's just a simple six plug wall adapter right so I'm going to use this and I'm gonna run my relays to this. Obviously, I'm gonna show you guys the wiring. You're gonna need a 12 volt power supply. The reason why you need a 12 volt is for the radio. Because if you put anything more into that radio, that's it, your project's done. Then I got a $5 ammo can or storage can, they call it at Walmart. So right now, I don't know, 16, so 20, 30, 40, Maybe $45 invested, guys. Um, a lot of stuff I have laying around. So it's not necessarily that I bought it, but I have it on hand. And uh, I'll leave you guys the links for all the items that I needed here. The last thing that we're going to need is just an uh, old extension cord. Um, just cut it, and then I'll show you guys how that wires up. Obviously, I'll give you the diagram, and then we'll go through uh, exactly what this box will do when we're done so we're going to go ahead and put it together i'm not going to film putting it together i'm going to take pictures and i'm going to explain it later on exactly what you guys need to do um guys if you're not comfortable with electricity please do not do this project you will blow something up there's no ifs ands or buts about it uh if you hook up the hot wires in the wrong spot you'll fry out the radio and you could blow your circuits in your house so uh, if you guys do attempt this, you know, I take, I hold no responsibility, all right? I mean, that's all I'm going to say on that. And then uh, I will be building these boxes. Um, now this one I'm showing you guys is a radio control. We're going to use the radio, right? And you just hook up any, you can play the radio, play any song. You could put a SD card in there. You can do whatever you want, guys, to do it. Uh, this box right here in particular is not going to be 100% waterproof, but if I use it, it's going to be on my front porch. 
uh, under a cover so I'm not worried about that I do have plans for another box that w works exactly the same without a radio um, now that is a little different guys I'm not gonna be giving you the specs on that or anything like that I'm actually trying to sell that uh, to one of these main Christmas companies out there or something like that but I told you guys I've been working real hard and uh, this is something that you guys will be able to build at your own risk obviously and before we go into it I have pumped uh, everything I got into this thing I've hooked up all my lights and I haven't had a problem so basically we're just gonna go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and say that uh, this is at your own risk and you know be careful with the wattage I'm 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 gonna go out on a limb and say these this will hold 60 watts per channel probably go up to 80 um, you know depending on your circuit load in your house obviously um, you guys could look up the specs on that but uh, alright guys let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you how it goes and I'll come back at the end of the video alright so su super simple I just cut up my cutting board uh, spray painted it black made a hole for my radio and fits right in the box perfectly now what you see right here I just took my 12 volt power supply I took my red wire from this power supply and added it to my red and yellow wires on the radio and then I took my negative which is black and hooked it up to my negative on the back of the radio and that's going to supply all the power we need for the radio only so right here is just a simple test fit I uh, just wanted to make sure the radio fit in there and I had clearance for when I put the, the adapter, the plug adapter in the back. All right, y'all, so after I finished the video, I realized I, I missed one step in this process, so I'm going to go ahead and run through it real quick. You're going to take your speaker outputs on the back of the radio, positive and negative, and go on to the inputs of the relays, positive and negative, and that's it. Super simple box right here as seen in the picture so if you're looking at it from the back side the hot wire is going to be on the right side of the box it's usually the larger um, the larger prong on any kind of system and right here you guys can see I just soldered my wires on and I ran a jumper wire from the top to the bottom so I can control top and bottom um, without hooking any extra wires up or anything like that uh, this seems to work out real well for me, and like I said, this is just a throw-together box that I'm showing you guys how to build it. Now, for the second wire on your two-wire extension cord, that's going to be your neutral wire. That's going to run into number two on the output of the relay, just like is seen in this picture. Uh, super simple, just run it, right up, run it right over there. And then in the next picture we got coming up, I'm going to show you guys, I just did a jumper wire from the first box to the second box in parallel and then right here you're just gonna see I took from the opposite side I took the wires and I ran them to the opposite side of the junction box I'll call it for now just the back of the plug right so I just ran one from each side of the relays and just then just super simple cut a hole in your box uh, for the size of the outlet box to go inside of your setup here and then, we'll, then we'll go right here as you see it's a perfect fit I right, hot glued it all around made sure it was perfectly placed in there and that's about it super simple Everything's in there. All my wires. Got a little speaker in there. Uh, just so you can hear the music uh, for this video. And show you guys that it actually works. But that's it guys. I just got the two wires coming out of here. I got my power adapter right there. I just hot glued it all up together. And that's it. You could definitely make this box um, waterproof if you chose to. Uh, this is just for the video guys, you know, I'm just giving you an idea that it could definitely be done 
and how super simple it is. So let's go ahead and get to the light test. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm running Alexa through my radio <clears throat> and uh, I got my rope lights plugged in. These are just regular rope lights, guys. I got them in the RV section at Walmart. And uh, that's it, guys. We're going to go ahead and test out uh, the sounds. And I think you guys are going to be pretty impressed with this setup right here. So uh, we'll check them out and we'll come back and see what you guys think afterwards. All right, y'all, so I hope you enjoyed that light show as much as I enjoyed working on this project and getting this video finished. If you're like me, you spent hours and hours looking for a music control box that just does not do what this box is capable of doing. There's no doubt about it. Um, I truly believe that with the right lights, the right setup, this box can hang with some of them people that have seven to $10,000 setups with programming and wires and nodes and all that other stuff, right? Um, but as stated in the video, if you guys do not feel comfortable with the wiring and all that stuff in this shown in the video, um, I'm going to be building these boxes. I'm going to sell them 120 bucks. It's going to be a little bit different than what you see here. I'm going to upgrade the power supply, the plug and the outlets, right? So make them a little bit more waterproof. And I'll leave my email in the description. You guys can email me, request a box, and we'll go from there. We'll see what your setup is. And I can make this more powerful. I can make it, you know, more plugs, less plugs, whatever you want. 
But that's about it, guys. Um, I hope you really enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know you guys appreciate the information I'm putting out there so I can continue to make videos for you guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and end the video, as always. Hope everybody's staying safe. I appreciate everybody. Keep coming back. And I hope to see you all on the next video. Take care.